So, so walk us through how and why did the group break up? Mm -hmm. Good story. The group broke up really, and I did the um just to clear up some when we did the in when we did the little documentary thing on the uh that Nas had, and we did and they asked me the same question. I was trying to just be kind of political correct. I ain't really want to tell what really happened, but the group broke up because of the the money. The money went right, and I started answering questions. On that last album, as we did the last album, I started answering questions. Like, really, before we did the last album, that's why if you listen to the last album, it's not really too many Lil Jon Eastside Boys records on there. There's a lot of feature records that he did with other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like him, R. Kelly had the song, and him, Luda, and Usher had the song, and and just stuff like that. It, it wasn't your traditional Lil Jon Eastside Boys album. Mm -hmm. Because I started answering questions about my money. You know what I'm saying? I really went to, I'm like, hey man, where my money at? Huh? Yeah, my money. I ain't got no money. Off. All four albums we don't did, man. We did four albums on TVT, which means we did two more albums. I ain't got no money, no, no royalty, none of that from that. You know? And I don't, and when I really started seeing some money is when we got the TVT and I got my first uh, BMI check. I ain't know what the fuck that was. I ain't signed no BMI. I ain't signed nothing with BMI. I ain't know what that was. So they signed me up with BMI, which means I was getting checks, made some checks I was getting were like, I think the high check I got was like 24,000 or something. Cause I mean being on the being on the road, my dad comes, hey, you got to check here. Cause we're going to my dad's house. He's like, mm -hmm. you got to check here. I'm like, I got to check there. Well, how much is it? And me and him got the same night. I was like, whoa. I said, man, go cash it then, you know. I'm on the road, I got a pocket full of money and stuff. I'm like, yeah, go on and cash it. And I told him, you cash and get you 10 out of it. We're like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, go ahead, man. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. So come to find out, once the group broke up and now I got me a lawyer and stuff and going to get my money, that check was 24000 That means it really would have been like probably fifty. Which means somebody else was getting that money. Whoever signed my BMI up was getting the other half of that money. And all my percentages on BMI, oh, they so off. They so off. Matter of fact, Charlotte Freakle or something, that's why, I, that's why I'm talking about Charlotte Freakle or something, and the production and how everything. You know how much percentage I get off Charlotte Freakle or something? How much? 13%. You only get 13% of, of Shorty Freakle or something? Yep. Didn't it you write? Be, it actually, it might be smaller than that. I had to really look at it. It might be smaller than that. I wrote the song before I even met this guy. I told the guy where I got the beat from, and the beat go like this. Jazz of Faith comes in. I tell Jazz of Faith, I've seen the hook for Jazz of Faith. Jazz of Faith goes in there singing like I did it. And all he did was add his little ad libs on there. And I had two verses that I wrote on them. So, what? so you see where the shady, you see that shady is in there. Okay, so again, you know, because you, you you didn't answer, how, how did the group break up? Like, was, was there- yeah, that's, was, how, that's, what, that's how we broke up. No, 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 was, no. no. Was, was there a moment where y'all had a meeting? What, did, did you just- Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is it. Start answering about my money. We in, we in LA. We was in LA. At the hotel we always stayed at, we had the bar. And I'm like, hey man, where my money at, man? Where my money? What money? Money from these record sales, money from the uh, my royalties, money from my mechanicals. Where's all this stuff at? Because I start learning stuff. Mm -hmm. Start learning little stuff. And people start telling me stuff that I should have been getting, I should be getting, right? So I start asking these questions. So I start asking these questions, it was almost everybody's attitude changed. Like everything wasn't the same no more when I started asking all these questions. Now it was like the attitudes and stuff changed, and everybody like like okay, okay, the get the the jig is up. He he figuring it out now. Uh oh, uh oh. Cause we had two more options on uh TVT. You know what I'm saying? We could put two more albums out, but we didn't. And then um I remember one day, one weekend we had a show, and just so happened this weekend was crazy, man. We had the show. 
and we went to this hotel, the Embassy Suites, and we never like to stay at the Embassy Suites because for some reason, it's always some kind of family reunion, a bunch of kids, and they know who we are, and they just keep knocking on our door and running, knocking on the door and running all night. So we like, nah, we ain't doing this. So we, um, at this time, we had two managers. So John and uh, one of the managers went to go find somewhere else for us to stay. Now, mind you, it was daylight now. Now, I think we was in Texas, too. And they went to go find us somewhere else to stay. So we stayed there at the hotel, me, Bo, and the other manager. We at the bar. We like, just call us when y'all find something. You know, we're going to have a few drinks or whatever. So we sitting there having drinks. and stuff. I'm like, hey, man. Hey, man, I'm old. two hours or something, man. I know they don't found something. Ain't nobody called you or nothing. So the man's like, let me call. So he called. They're like, oh, yeah, man. We over here at this. They done found some kind of uh, place, some kind of thing look like look like apartments that they don't found. So like, all right. They don't got our rooms and everything, but ain't nobody called to say, y'all come on over here. So we get over there. When we get over there, John like, hey, I got to hurry up, man. We got to go. We got to go. Show, no show, get rid We like, hold on. I said, hold on, man. We've been sitting over there waiting on y'all to call us for about two hours. Now we get here, you had like, we got to hurry up and rush and rush and rush. I'm like, okay, all right, all right, something ain't right. So, matter of fact, Pitbull was, uh, was with us too. John Pitbull and the other uh, manager went to find this place. So, we go into the show. I'm heated. I'm like, man, something ain't right. Something ain't right. So, we go into the show. As we go into the show, we walk in, in the back. We walking in the back of the um, the little arena or whatever. It was like a little small little arena type thing. We walking in the back. As we walking in the back, the manager that was with us at the hotel goes, "Hey, come on, man, y'all want to get some get something to eat, something to drink, or whatever." We like, "Yeah, we're going to dressing room. Cool, no problem." John Pitbull and the other manager keep walking another way. Like, man, where they going? I said, oh, maybe they're going to, you know what I'm saying, set the music up or something, whatever. All right, whatever. So we go in here. They got Church of Chicken laid out. Like, what? Church of Chicken? Woo! Well, I'm finna eat. I'm finna eat. Fixing something to drink. All of a sudden, I had the intro for the show. I said, what the fuck? I said, hey, man, that's the intro. And the other man's are like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. I said, bro, we were going on. Why would you bring us over here? I like, yeah, y'all on some other shit today. I don't know what it is. Y'all on some other shit. So we run to the stage. Me and Bo run to the stage. Man, when I tell you, when me and Bo hit that stage and that crowd went crazy, John turned around and gave me a look I never seen before in my goddamn life, man. That man turned around and looked at me like, what the fuck is y'all doing? What the hell is y'all doing? Y'all ain't supposed to be here. He gave us that look. And man, when I tell you, when I seen that look, I went off, man. I'm talking about I was out there jumping for you. When you talking about crunk, well, I was so mad. I told the security guard, I said, hey, it was like, it was three levels. I said, hey, how can I get to the top level? I want to go to the top level and I want to work my way back down to the stage. And I did. I took the microphone. I don't know if the mic was going, e -e -e. I don't know if we were making noise. I don't know if they cut it off. I ain't care. I went to the top level. I walked around there. Anybody want to take a picture? I took pictures. Went to the second level, did the same thing. Went back down to the first level, did the same thing, and got back on stage and finished the show. And that man, that man didn't talk to me that night. He, I mean, he was so goddamn man. He didn't talk to me or nothing that night, and I didn't care. And we um, we got back to the little apartment things or whatever. And I already knew about the after party. I knew about the after party now. They were like, "Yeah, we finna go to the after party." Oh nah, y'all ain't going. I'm 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 gonna go over there. Like, what? Huh, okay. All right, that was up. So we fly home the next day. Get home. My dad went to the found out my dad was in the hospital. He had went to the hospital that um shared while we was in the show. And so, but then nobody know what was wrong with him or whatever. So I'm going to see him. As I'm on my way up there to see him that Sunday, straight from the airport, going to the um hospital. Going up there. What's up, guys? Thanks know. for sticking with me to the end of the mountain. video. Go, hey, Truly appreciate you. I said, if you I like anything you heard here today, so we just go ahead home, and hit bro. that subscribe button. What the mean if about? you know anybody that can benefit from know. this message, 
feel Child free life. to share. Oh, it's probably about Peace the uh, love. anger management tour. Every move. Cause we was going on the anger management tour like, like in a month. Maybe three weeks.